guys, in this video, I'm going to install a Hobbywing X brushless combo into this TRX4. Now, this is going to make it probably the world's slowest RC car. All right, so I've had a few comments recently with people saying, Kev, what's the easiest way as a complete beginner to go from zero to buying a Lamborghini like this um, in the quickest amount of time possible? So um, I've done a presentation and um, I'm going to do that over on my website. Uh, I haven't really got time to do it in this video. I've got the whiteboard out here. So if you head over to my website, link to that down below, uh, fully free, 100% free. I'm going to show you exactly what's involved and what you can expect uh, starting from a complete beginner uh, to buy a car like this. All right, I'll see you over on my website. These can crawl so, 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 so crazy slow. And um, hey, Steve's got one, I've seen it go. And it's fully waterproof. And that's the idea with this, because I want this thing to be able to go underwater. So um, this should be the ticket. Now I'm going to be doing the install of this on a live stream now. So by the time you see this video, that would have already happened. And I'm going to put a link to the live stream down below so you can re-watch it. That is on my other channel. More, Kevin Talbot. Uh, we do many live streams on there. So if you want to get involved, you want to interact with us, uh, you're more than welcome there to jump on and uh, kind of get involved. So the link to that, more Kevin Talbot, uh, my other channel, I'm going to put a link to that down below. So make sure you subscribe to that and smash the bell so that you're notified when we go live. All right, so let's get this thing open, have a little look, and then we're going to go live. So this one here is a 2300KV one, so this is the fastest version that I do. As you guys all know, uh, I like maximum power. And... Um, I know it's still a crawler, but I still like my crawlers to be able to go as fast as I possibly can. Ho ho! Hey, we got more boxes. All right, ESC. All right, so here we have the motor, apparently fully waterproof. So we're going to test that and um, we're going to find out. So the balance plug on these, it's got this special plug on here. And the idea behind that is that you can really properly waterproof it up. Um, I don't really know that much more. I suppose we're going to get a Steve in the house at some point to help me set it up. Let's have a look at the ESC. Yeah, a few other bits and bobs. So here is the car that's going to go in. This is the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. So no locking diffs. The differentials are permanently locked. There's no high and low range transmission. Uh, it's just one speed. Um, it, it's fairly slow. But this is supposed to be the one that I use for going underwater, getting muddy, hosing it down and not worrying too much about stuff going wrong. When we look at my other TRX4s like I've got here, these have both got diff locks and the trouble is when you get them wet, there's more places for the water to go and seize everything up, all the cables and diff locks and more to go wrong. This one here is supposed to be more of a basic, trouble-free crawler, uh, but I still like to get a bit of speed out of it because when we do the montages in slow motion, uh, seeing all the water and the mud and everything fly off, that looks really cool. So um, ESC is going to sit somewhere here. Motor's obviously going to go in there. So now we're going to hop over to the live stream. So if you want to end this video now, uh, click the link down below to get onto the replay from the live stream where you can see us fit it. Uh, and then, well, and then we're going to put you back onto this and we're going to test it out. So, uh, yeah, see you over the live stream, or if you can't be bothered to see the live stream, then just stay here and watch the finished product. <laughs> all right, got it all installed. It all went in nicely. Uh, the only thing that we do need to do is to switch over the forward and reverse. It's going the wrong way at the moment. Uh, normally, if this was a sensorless system, you could just swap a couple of the motor wires. But because this is censored, you can't. You have to kind of go inside the app and you've got to do it inside there. So we had a little play on that on the live stream. Uh, so have a look on there if you're interested, but uh, yeah, I got fed up with it and angry, and um, it's probably going to be boring for you to watch. So we're going to get a, a Steve in the house, hopefully, uh, get him to program it, because he's better with that sort of stuff. And what's going to take me hours and hours to try and figure out, he's probably going to do in like 30 seconds. Oh look, we got a, a Steve in the house. Hello everybody. Oh, Tiny in the house. Tiny. Anyway, I had a play with this on a live stream with Pat. We tried to make it go the right direction, because it goes backwards and not forwards. And we couldn't do it, gave up. So now we've got A.S. Steve in the house. I'll fix it. He's going to fix it in probably a few seconds. It won't take long. I don't know if I've got to put my radio on. Uh, really? Open up your hobby ring app. And click up there. Just connecting. There we are, we're connected. Right. So you do the firmware update, stuff like that, we won't do that at the moment. The parameters, it knows it's a crawler. So you go on that, 
Um, cut off voltage intermediate. We'll leave that. Actually, put a, make it so it doesn't cut out. Not, not doesn't, but like maybe low. Oh, okay. Oh, I've gone to the wrong one, sorry. Uh, low. Yeah. There we go. Um, that's 100%. Forward, turbo timings on 0% at the moment. Can you make it go faster? We'll go on 10. Yeah. Uh, turbo delay. I normally go... No with... delay, I don't want any delay. No no delay, <sighs> okay. That's fine, we'll leave that as it is. Drag brake, that's what mine's on, 80%. Maybe a little bit less, because it seems a bit... That's, uh, to be honest, I've found 80 to be about right. Try me, try me 70. Yeah? Yeah. Um, drag brake increase, level 4. I put mine on... Auto. What's that? What does it do? It brings it in gradually. The, far, oh, right. the faster you're going, the slower it brings it in. Oh, right. So you don't get the uh, throttle increase rate. That's your your punch, basically. Full so punch. Five, so we put it on nine. Um, you can turn up the voltage, so if you've got a high voltage servo, you can run it at 7.4. I don't think the Traxxas ES um, speed controller likes it, though. Oh, catch fire, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and it's, that's the one we've got the problem with there. Yes. Counterclockwise. I did, I did do that on mine, but it said in demo mode. Oh, that's strange. Oh, it wasn't connected. Yeah. If it's not connected, it'll go into demo mode. It said mode. connected inside the phone app. Not in the app, but inside the actual Bluetooth settings. It said connected. Oh, okay. That's strange. What's the KV rating thing? Can that make it go any Two, faster? Two, three. No, that's set. Can't change that. It just knows what it is. All right. Cool. But if you get the... Uh, How do you save it? Is that the save at the top? Click save. Okay. And um, that's it. It's done. Then you go back and you can save all different profiles on this as well. So if you had the Bluetooth thing on all of your cars, you can do it with that. Uh -huh. And then once you're finished, click that. Okay. It's disconnected. It's all saved. All right. So try it out. Yep. So if you turn your transmitter on. So if you turn this on and off, or is that done? Should be all right. Mm. It's not connected to it. Turn that off, we'll turn it back on. Put him, put him in as well. Yeah, go on then. I suppose that would be better than dragging it on the floor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One-handed battery installation. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't even it's do it It's a puzzle. I can't it's even do it with two. <laughs> right. Steve versus Chinese puzzle. Uh -uh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Right, that way round. And in like that. Click. Click. Radio's on. Right, we're good. Ready to rock and roll. Or not. Oh, hold on. Sometimes you've got to turn that on and off. Oh. For some reason, it's not talking to it. It's sure it's connected to... Is that the right one for that? It was. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to read behind the tracks. It's... Oh. All right, I'm going to rebind it, and then we're going to put you back on. Oh, all right, just bound it up again. And now it works. Let's see how fast or slow it goes. <laughs> oh, hold on. Subscribe. What they got to do? Subscribe. Yeah, there you go. I think it definitely needs gearing up. Yeah. I want it to go a bit faster. Yeah, it, it won't get hot at all like that. Yeah. Oh, so it hasn't got flakes, you just let go. Yeah, just let go and that's it. That okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. And if you do that and do hit the brake, it goes instantly to the reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh. I suppose that could be pretty good if you're trying to do a save. Yes. Oh, right, so that's all set up now. It's going the right way. And also, I've put some uh, softer shocks on there that Pat gave me. So we're going to test it out out the back here on the cobbles with a GoPro, put it in slow motion, see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just fell off the end. So guys, this is probably the slowest crawler now that you could probably pretty much get, motor-wise anyway. So if we pull the trigger just a tiny bit, look how slowly you can crawl. 
and it's going to maintain that speed. So if something comes along like an obstacle, so I'm just going to put my foot in the way there. It just keeps going. So if we put that there, let me just take the phone out. I'm going to do it one handed. I'm just going to pull that trigger. Right, so there, look, it's just crawling. And I'm not going to give it any more power. I'm going to leave that trigger in that position. And as it starts climbing, it's going to automatically give it more or less power just to keep that speed up. And that's going to be pretty awesome when you're making videos because normally what doesn't look good, what I find when you're doing rock crawling videos and getting over obstacles, is when you're constantly starting and stopping. It doesn't look nice. But with this here, you can just keep the fossil position and no matter what obstacle comes up, it's just going to keep going the same speed. And even when you put this up against a wall, it's just going to keep going and going and going. Right, we're going to let off now. All right. So let's see what happens. Let me come up to a full stop here. Oh, reposition myself. So I'm going to put that, put that throttle position just where it starts crawling like that. As you can see, look, it's constantly feeding in more power. Look at those back wheels. So the way that I've got this set up at the moment, and this is how it comes out the box, is that when you go forward, you let go and the drag brakes automatically come on. But you can go instantly into reverse. So if you're going backwards, instantly forward, instantly backwards. There kind of is no brakes. It's when you let go, it automatically brakes. And if you have a look at the drag brakes, we just get this back up this hill again. And stop, it holds it there perfectly. And you can adjust in the settings, in the parameters, how much drag brake you want. So this at the moment, I think we got it set to 60%, 65%, something like that. And I think ATS Steve said you can put it all the way up to 200%. And if that, those drag brakes are on like 200%, you can't move it. I mean, now look, if you force it, you, you can still do it because it's only got 60%. So um, it's so adjustable. There's so much you can do with this. Um, it's actually pretty amazing. So the only downside that I can see to this system, and it's not really a downside because this is, dedicated it's, it's really meant to be for crawling and crawling it does like uh, the best i've never seen a system that is so controllable and crawls so nice uh but me being me i like stuff to be a little bit faster and what i like about the castle mamba x is that it can do six cell lipo and it's a higher kv i mean this one here is a 2300 kv and i think they've just come out of a 3200 just as i bought this which is a shame because that was to what i would buy that one and i probably will buy that one and try it out so in my opinion um, it's a perfect crawler setup, but it is a little bit on the slow side. I'd prefer it if it went a little bit faster. You know, like my, my TRX4, for example, the other one that runs on the castle, I can run that on 6L LiPo and it's just stupidly, crazily fast. And then you can still go slow. I mean, it's not as controlled as this, um, but I mean, that's got some speed to it. So guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Um, the idea of this build was so I can take the thing underwater, really get the thing wet. And I think for that, it's going to be good. So there's going to be loads of videos coming up soon. Uh, we're going to Paddlesworth, actually. So I don't know if that video is going to be before or after this one. Massive crawler track there. Uh, so we're going to be doing some fun there. I'm probably going to be taking that crawler. And I'm going to be taking one of these TRX4s there. So if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Smash the bell button so notified. And we'll see you soon in another video. And if you want to see another video now, just browse the channel and have a look at one of these other videos up on the page here. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.